Yo! Hey guys, uh, I haven't uploaded in a while because of uni and some summer projects. You might hear some fans going in the background because it is hella hot in here and I'm not about to die of heat stroke. I'm not going to be talking to you guys on camera as that takes a hell of a lot of time to prepare. I gotta do my hair, I gotta look presentable. But like this for, you know, uh, I could um, I could just be butt naked, you know? Um, I'm, I'm not though, I'm just, I'm just lazy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, this is awkward now. <laughs> Why do I say these things? But yeah, recently something caught my attention and it's a story that happened relatively close to where I live and it did scare the shit out of me. And I know what you're gonna say, these video formats are all done to high hell. But I just needed something to keep you guys entertained uh, through my ramblings. So, um, you know, enjoy generic gameplay. So yeah, uh, let's cut through introduction. This thing literally happened 30 to 40 minutes from where I live. That's where I go to get some items from a Brazilian shop that they have around there. It's also uh, it also has a common train station where most people go uh, if you want to go to places like Comic Con or you want to go out of London. So anyway, I see something about it on a local website, and this site is a part of a channel organization called ITV, and they have their own news bulletin section on their website. The gist of the video was. Uh, some teens must have gotten really bored instead of doing some normal shit like chilling with some mates, playing video games, doing fucking math, going skateboarding, eating some candy. They decide to, uh, you know, reenact fucking GTA. Fucking GTA, bro. And no, these guys didn't just walk around randomly and brick old ladies. No, 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 wait, no, wait. That would, uh, that would be pretty grim too. Never mind. No, 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 no. These hardcore motherfucking street rats went a step further. They fucking. Wait, no, no, no. You know what? I'm gonna let you watch the video and see for yourself. Yeah, as you can see, normal people going about their business. Oh, oh, wait, maybe they went the wrong way. Oh, what are they doing? Mate, is that a stick? What is that? Holy shit, dude, it's a fucking shotgun. A fucking shotgun, dude? What the fuck? What the actual fuck, dude? What? No. Like, it's not even your typical shit that you see here. Maybe a smuggled Glock or a 9mm automatic? Like, no, mate. No, I guess for you it was a bit shite. Like, I guess for you it just wasn't enough, was it? Dude, I'm still fucking shocked like shit, man. This guy has been playing a bit too much Red Dead Redemption. Like, bitch, who the fuck are you? Like, dude, John Marston? Is that you? Like shit, whose child is this? Like fuck me, dude, she better come collect her son. Oh shit, fuck my boy. Oh bloody hell, I'm done. At this point, I really have no idea like how the fuck this even happened in broad daylight. Like there are fucking cars and people just about. Did nobody think to help this man? Like shit, just hit him with your car. Just hit him with your car, dude. Holy shit, did you see that shit? This dude is fucking bionic, like he got up like nothing happened, holy shit. Shit dude, like he just got shot in the chest and, and for all you people saying oh but he missed him. No. Have a look at this article dude. Look dude, see for yourself. A 21 year old man suffered a punctured lung and serious damage to his windpipe. Oh and look right underneath it, holy shit someone else got hit too. This is just, it just gets more fucked up the more I look into it. And for people from other countries that allow guns. You must understand when I tell you this. We, we're not used to guns over here. Like, our fucking police officers carry fucking little shitty beating sticks. Like, when not even your authorities carry weapons on daily, this is pretty shocking stuff. Like, legit, this is a big bloody leap for us medieval folk. It's like a caveman showing off his fire skills to another caveman and it being like, Yo, what the f- Okay, wait a minute, stop. Okay, now for sure I know this guy's been playing way too much GTA. Like, did you just straight up steal a bike? No, wait, 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 no. Maybe I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Like, maybe it's his. Let's, let's see. Oh, no, wait. Wait a minute. If this is truly his bike, then why didn't he bring three instead of one? Makes a better getaway if all three parties can get away, right? Or why didn't he leave it at home? Like, I don't understand. Are the other two guys your minions? Like, are they not your friends? No, 
Okay, man. <laughs> you gotta be fucking with me, dude. There's no way. There's like literally no way. Is this is this guy a ghetto Bond villain? Like, what's going on here? Like, motherfucker is literally making his friends jog behind him <laughs> as they struggle to keep up and shit. Like, like legit. He's making them jog while he poses for his fucking GTA loading screen. Holy shit, dude. And then OG Ghetto Man pedals off into the sunset while he points his gun at one more innocent person because you know, why not right? Fuck it. Like I just don't get it man how these cringy GTA loading screen looking ass motherfuckers can get hold of a fucking shotgun dude. A fucking sh- But yeah man, rage and disgust aside, my heart goes out to the residents and the ones injured in this altercation. I hope they do get better. Like damn dude. They haven't just been physically hurt, they've been emotionally hurt. Like, imagine being terrified of going out into a place where you once thought was safe. And now that there's these lunatics waving around fucking shotguns, dude. I mean, not only just that, this could also lead to uh, more kids carrying around guns for protection. In fear that something might happen to their loved ones, like their mother or their siblings. But yeah guys, you can find a link to the article in the description. And please, if you live in Brixen, be safe out there. And be wary of your surroundings. And be sure to spread the word, guys. Peace.